Hello everyone and welcome to another C-sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over some control flow and we're going to be using the if else statements and the switch statement. So let's jump right in. We have our variable input and it's going to read what we input into the console. So the console and then we use the read line function and that gets the text from uh, the console. So, well, we want to see what the user puts in for the text. So, if the user says uh, hello, so if input is equal to, see so this equal to sign is comparing, if we put one equal to sign, we're saying then input is going to be equal. If we're comparing it, we're saying, hey, um, check and see if it's equal to this. So, um, if input is equal to hello, we can say console right line and we'll give a message back here like hello, how are you? All right, and then else we can say console right line um, all. I do is read please stop talking to me all right so let's go ahead and run it our state of the art chatbot here hello hello how are you oh my gosh crazy um, yeah so let's go ahead and what happens if we don't put in hello? We're gonna see um, it get a little sassy. Hey, I had a bad day and I really want to talk. All I do is greet, <laughs> nice. All right, so this is essentially how you use an if else statement. Um, what if we wanna do, what if it's not hello but we still want to say something else if it's something else, essentially. So if we want to say, um, what if we want to say, or test and see if it says, um, hey, quick question. So that's not, it's not hello, and but it is something else, but we want to actually test for it. So the best way to do that is we can say else if. And then in here, we can say, um, hey, quick question. Else if, whoops. Of course, we're validating input here. So input equals, hey, quick question. We can say console right line. Um, let's, uh, let's increase the sass here a little bit. We can say, um, I don't have time for your subpar questions. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and run it. A quick question. I don't have time. Yes. All right, so what that did is essentially it went through the first if and it checked. All right, is the input hello? It is not. So we're going to keep moving. Else if. All right, so we're checking again. A quick question. All right, and we have a winner. So, but if it's literally anything else, then this is what the output's going to be. So this can get exhausting. And especially if we're making just an incredible state-of-the-art chatbot with lots of machine learning and artificial intelligence, we're going to need lots of if-else statements. Just kidding. That was a joke. You should not have if-else statements in a chatbot. Anyways, um, but you can have instances where um, an if-else statement can get pretty long, especially if we have multiple different cases. So what we're going to do is, this is where we use the switch statement. 
So switch statement is off, uh, excuse me, awesome, pardon, um, because we can actually do tests for a lot of different cases. So um, what goes in the parentheses for our switch statement is just the variable or just what we're validating. So um, this input, we're testing the input. If you noticed, let's go back to before we had this switch statement, there you go. If you notice, um, every single if statement that we have here is testing this input. And then we have hello, quick question, whatever. So if we go back, um, the switch statement is going to depend solely on this input right here. So now we can add a case. So our first case would be um, hello. And then here we can say console, write line. We can say hello, how are you? All right, and then we're getting an error right now because we need to break it off after we're done. So we can just use the keyword break and that um, gets out of this case. So what if we want to keep having a conversation? We can say case, um, I'm, actually I'm well, thank you. And then we can have console right line, say, good to hear, I'm also well. And then we can say break. All right. So we run this and we can say, hello. Hello, how are you? Um, we run it again, and if we say something like, whoops, I got all kinds of windows open here. All right. If we say something like, I'm well, thanks. This will say, oh, excuse me, I'm well. It has to be perfect or else it won't pick it up. Thank you. Run that, and it broke. Let's try it again. We just say, I'm well, thank you. Okay, run that, good to hear, I'm well also. All right, I think it broke because of, uh, I had some uh, open consoles and it was getting, it. It gets a little uh, wonky sometimes when you have multiple consoles open and um, you start screwing around with that. So I think that's why we're having some issues. Anyways, um, so this is essentially how you use a switch statement as well. So you can do this and then instead of putting an else here though, you what you'd put is the default. So this is what, of course, it defaults to console right line. You can just say something like, yeah, this is too advanced for me. And then we can break it off. And then if we run it, we can say booga wooga. Yeah, this is too advanced for me. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so that's how you uh, that's how you use the switch statement in C sharp. That's also how you use if and else statements as well as the if else statement. So I hope that this helped you out a little bit. Um, if it did, go ahead and drop a like. Um, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.